So I know there's a lot of options out there for doing text-to-speech in your stream, but most of them are pretty basic. They pretty much just read out every time you get a sub or anytime someone donates to you. And most of them also have a pretty limited number of voices that you can use. But I think I found the best text-to-speech program because you can add text-to-speech to literally anything that happens in your stream. When you get a raid, when a hype train starts, whenever an ad starts running. Hey, sweetie. Dinner is ready. <laughs> Why don't you grab something to eat while ads are running? That's right. And this program rolls together all of the major speech engines like Google, Microsoft, Amazon, and more. And so you end up with a massive library of voices to choose from. It's called SpeakerBot. It's made by the same people that made StreamerBot. And I think it even existed before StreamerBot existed. And that's worth noting because not only is this program old as shit, it feels fucking old. The UI is horrible. I'm not even gonna try to defend it. But if you can stick to this tutorial, and dude, this is gonna be a rough tutorial. I'm, I'm warning you now. You will have access to hundreds and hundreds of voices that you can use for anything. Channel point rewards, raid alerts, you name it. And I'm gonna make it as easy as possible for you guys to follow. But before we start, I'm gonna commit content creator suicide and just tell you that during this process, you're going to need to put in your credit card details for some things. Now, you're not gonna have to pay for anything, but if you don't feel comfortable even putting your details in, then uh, you can just tap out of this video. So um, I'll see you guys next week. Have a nice day and uh, sorry for wasting your time. But uh, for everyone that's still here, enjoy the video. Never pay full price for Windows ever again using today's sponsor, VIP SCD Keys. You can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM license for as little as $16. Just pay using a secure payment method like PayPal. They'll send you over an activation key right to your email. Just pop that into your Windows settings and that's it. Your Windows watermark is gone forever. I've got like three PCs in my setup. All of them are using keys from SCD Keys. They've been using it for years and they're still going strong. Plus those keys can be upgraded to Windows 11 for free. Or if it's more convenient, they also have Windows 11 keys for like $22. Use code NUTTY at checkout to get 25% off. Yeah, okay, thank you. So let's go and download SpeakerBot. So you can get SpeakerBot by going to speaker.bot. That's literally the website. You're also gonna need StreamerBot, and if you've never heard of StreamerBot, then you can check out this video. But I'm pretty sure the past three videos have been about StreamerBot, so you must be new here. Thanks for clicking on my video instead of someone else's. Now, when you open up a SpeakerBot for the first time, don't have a panic attack, okay? I told you the UI is a disaster. There's like a million tabs everywhere, but just pay attention to the settings tab, okay? I'll black out all the other tabs. Don't pay attention to any of those. In fact, you know what? Even within the settings tab, don't even pay attention to those tabs except for the speech engines tab and the voice aliases tab. Now the speech engines tab is where you're gonna set up all the different text-to-speech services that it supports. And it supports a lot. You've got Google, you've got Microsoft Azure, you've got Amazon Polly, you've even got some obscure ones like UberDuck and TTS Monster. Those last two are gonna give you some funny AI voices for different celebrities and different content creators. And no love, it is such a funny thing. A mystery allure, gotta get to know you more because I can feel a real connection. A and then the voice aliases connection. tab is where you're gonna choose your different voices that you wanna use and decide whether you're gonna use them for your donations and your channel point rewards or rate alerts or whatever you wanna do. You can even have text-to-speech for every single chat message if you wanted to. We're gonna start with the speech engines tab. Now, I was gonna go through each of the different text-to-speech services and show you how to set them up individually, but then we'd be here for like an hour and I don't wanna do that. So instead, I'm gonna make a Google doc that you guys can just read that will show you screenshot for screenshot wherever you need to click for every single service. Keep in mind, each of the speech engine services are going to ask you to put your credit card details at some point. And that's because technically they're paid services, but they have like a free tier 
for like the first like four million characters or something and you guys realistically are never gonna go through that free allocation just to be clear the speech engine for uber duck and tts monster which both do like the ai voices for celebrities and tv show characters those you don't have to pay for so you don't have to put your credit card details at all for these now the free allocation that you get per month varies from each service for example google supports four million characters for free before you have to start paying and then after that it's still pretty cheap amazon is the same like four million characters per month some of them are a million characters per month the point is it's way more than you'd realistically ever Ever use in a month and if you're processing a million characters per month you, you probably owe them you should probably pay at that point anyway so yeah go and read that Google Doc uh, it's I haven't even made it yet but I, I will and it's gonna be a huge pain in the ass but if you can set all that up you only have to do it once everything from here on out gets way easier we're gonna move over to the voice aliases tab the idea here is we're gonna set up a bunch of, let's just call them personas. And these personas have a voice. So what you do is you create a persona and we give it a name. So we'll go with Steve. Then under where it says speak, you'll see a list of all of the different voices that Steve can have. And you'll notice that there's hundreds and hundreds of different voices because we set up like four different speech engines. Now you'll notice that a lot of these voices are listed as standard and then there's others that are listed as WaveNet or Neural. The non-standard voices are usually the ones that are the higher quality AI powered voices that sound a lot better and more realistic. Naughty, go to bed or else you'll be tired at church tomorrow. Naughty, go to bed or else you'll be tired at church tomorrow. I don't know why Steve sounds like my mom. Just choose any of the voices that you like, and if you want to test it out, just type in a random phrase and click on test speak. Now, if you like that voice, you can just click add, and now Steve will have the voice that you've selected. Now, each persona can have more than one voice, and each time you run a text-to-speech command, it's just going to choose a random voice from that list. So. If you want Steve to sound British sometimes, but Filipino another time, I don't know why you'd want that, but I guess you can do that. But just go through, find some of the voices that you like, and once you've come up with a few different personas, then it's time to tie those voices to your stream. Now, this is where StreamerBot comes in. If you create a new action and go into the sub actions, you will see an option under SpeakerBot that says speak. For the message, you can just type in any phrase that you want to have processed through text-to-speech. Don't forget to put the name of the alias you put in SpeakerBot. And then you can test it with the test button. Is Panda Express a panda or a railway vehicle? Now, if you want that message to be read out every time someone gives you bits, just go over to the platforms tab, Twitch, cheers, and set the cheer action to the action that you just made. Now we can modify this message too. So instead of just reading out the exact same message every time someone cheers, you can put in variables, which we talked about a few videos ago, where we can actually insert the name of the person that gave us bits as well as the amount of bits that they sent us. Remember in StreamerBot, every variable is in percent symbols. So we would just set the message to percent user percent just cheered percent bits percent and then bits at the end. Is Panda Express a panda or a railway vehicle? Oh, and I guess Buana also donated 69 bits. But yeah, that's pretty much it. You can go ahead and just start adding text-to-speech for anything you can think of. Go ahead and add text-to-speech whenever an ad starts playing, and you can have it announce how many seconds the ad runs for. Buckle your seatbelts, gentlemen. We're about to watch 90 seconds of ads. I think I'll leave it there. Obviously, that was just a really basic example of what you can set up text-to-speech for. But I'll leave it to you guys to get creative and do go wild, okay? And then show me on Twitter, and if I like it, I'll retweet it and be like, Wow, that's amazing. Cool. Guys, be honest with me. Was, was that too complicated? Because I, it's like 7 in the morning, and I feel like only like 5 people got any use out of that video. So, I kind of need that like external validation from you guys commenting. So I feel good about myself because 
I, I, I actually don't feel good at all. But anyway, thanks guys. That's a little bit of my insecurity coming out. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Never do that ever again. I'm going to stop now. <laughs>